You can't keep allowing these people to do whatever they want. It's just blatantly disrespectful and it's honestly just evil. So that's why we're out here because we want to let her know that she will not be sitting there for much longer and we will get her out of office. Tonight, a group of protesters outside Councilwoman Nuri Martinez's home in Sun Valley. They held up signs and chanted on the streets right here, demanding she step down. And they say they'll continue to protest outside of her house, her office, and her church until she resigns. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. Right now at 8.30, Martinez is in hot water after audio tapes that were leaked on Reddit appear to contain controversial uh, conversations between Martinez and fellow council members. On those recordings, Martinez has heard making several racial remarks against black people, including some directed at the son of fellow councilman Mike Bonin's son, who is black. Tonight, Martinez is apologizing, saying in part, in a moment of intense frustration and anger, I let the situation get the best of me, and I hold myself accountable for these comments. For that, I am sorry. Those recorded remarks are sparking outrage in LA's black community. KKL 9's Lauren Posen is live in downtown LA outside City Hall with reaction on that tonight. Lauren. Well, Ross, you know, a lot of people are still unpacking everything that the council member said. You know, the big question tonight, though, is how their words will impact the black community, because some feel any trust that was there is now gone. People are already cynical about politics and politicians. Earl Orfari Hutchinson is president of the Los Angeles Urban Policy Roundtable. He says the leaked racist audio of L.A. City Council President Nuri Martinez and Kevin DeLeon targeted the black community. The L.A. Times says the audio is from a conversation related to the redistricting process. How dare them make these kind of remarks on an issue that is so critical and so sensitive to our community. Martinez is also heard making racist comments about council member Mike Bonin's child's behavior at a parade. Bonin is white and has an adopted son who is black. But the one that really jumped out, the little monkey, acting like a little monkey. The problem with that right away, in addition to the fact is it's ne a negative typecast and stereotype, the monkey image is an image that has long been used very negatively, stereotypically, to talk about blacks. Council member Kevin DeLeon is also accused of saying racist comments about Bonin's child, too. Both have apologized, but Hutchinson says it's just too late. The damage is done. It's kind of hard now when you have an audio tape, you have their voices, to just simply say, uh, it was taken out of context. No, it wasn't. As calls for both council members to resign get louder, voters are taking note. We went to both districts to talk to them. Many didn't want to go on camera. This voter did. He lives in Martinez's district. I think it's disgusting. There's no room for racist in this world. Now, while many feel that the council member should resign, Hutchinson says the bigger question that really people should be watching is if the mayor and city council decide to take any action against two of their own. Reporting live in downtown, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News. All right, thanks a lot, Lauren. And we'll have continuing coverage of this story, of course. Stay with KCAL 9 News and KCAL 9.com for the very latest. And, of course, we're streaming 24-7 on CBS News Los Angeles. Or you can visit the CBS LA app.